Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a really great drugstore dupe for one of my all-time favourite foundations. And the foundation is this, it's NARS Sheer Glow. It's very expensive, it's about £29 a bottle, uh, but it's my all-time favourite foundation when you first apply it. The finish is just beautiful. Um, it's kind of satin and luminous and it is sheer, but it's not super sheer. I would say it's kind of light to medium. It's not full on light. I've definitely tried things that are sheerer than this. And so the name suggests sheer, but as I will show you in a moment, it does cover quite a lot. So I absolutely love this. The colours that you can get are great. There's a massive, massive shade range and it was one of the first um, foundations that I found that really matched my skin tone. Since I found ones that are great as well, uh, a lot of my colour stays are perfect, but this was, I think that's part of the reason that I fell in love with this, because I'd never had a foundation match me so well. The shade I have is Light 2, which is also called Mont Blanc from NARS. Um, but a couple of niggles I have with this, it doesn't last that long on my skin. Probably by lunchtime I'm seeing that the coverage is wearing off. I really don't like the packaging. Obviously, with all NARS things, it's got this kind of matte rubber, this, it clings to dirt and it just looks awful. And the actual top is really loose. That bugs me as well. It doesn't have a pump, which is not a deal breaker. A lot of the foundations I use don't have a pump, but I know for some people that's an issue. Um, I just think for £29, much as it's one of my favourites, I want it to be perfect and that's why I've never repurchased it. Um, I'm going to show you now the one that I think is a great dupe, if not better. It's the Revlon Nearly Naked, and you will maybe have heard me mention this before and compare the two, but I thought it deserved its own video because I think it's just that great. Uh, now if I had to choose again, I would definitely choose this one, not just because of the price, but I think that the little niggles that I had with the NARS one have been solved with this. It's a little bit drier. My skin is um, kind of oily combination, especially during the summer when I got this, I was particularly impressed with the oil control. Uh, it's not as great as my colour stay. I definitely do need to touch up, and even in the winter I probably would. Um, it is a little bit more of a dewy foundation but it's more dry, it kind of sets quicker on your skin than the NARS does um, and I could just feel it, as soon as I put it on my face I could kind of feel one half of my face compared to the other and it really did feel drier on the side that I applied this one. The coverage is slightly higher, not by a tremendous amount but the actual consistency of the product is a little bit thicker and so I think that's probably why. Um, both are kind of buildable but this is more so which is another plus in the favour of this I think because it's Although it's a sheer foundation and you're looking for it as a nearly naked foundation, it's nice to have options. It's nice to have that one product that does more than one thing. Uh, and I think that you probably can get more of a medium coverage with this one than you can with the NARS if you wanted it. Um, this is almost identical in packaging. It's still, it's not got the pump. It's just got the bottle that you kind of pour out. Uh, but it's the same with my Colour Stay and I love my Colour Stay uh, and so uh, I don't really mind that at all. It's just worth mentioning, like I say, some people are bothered by it and obviously this is a lot, lot cheaper. So I'm gonna show you the two of them side by side. First of all, I'm gonna put on the NARS. Um, you can see it's quite liquidy. You can see it's, it is a little bit more fluid um, than the Nearly Naked one. But both of them, I think, if you compare them side by side are just so, so similar in coverage. I mean, like I say, maybe, maybe the Revlon is ever so slightly higher coverage because the consistency of the product is thicker, but it's it's barely noticeable. I mean, I have both of them on my face right now under the rest of my makeup, and I have had it in a couple of videos, and I can't imagine that you can tell the difference between one half and the other. Uh, obviously, there's probably a slightly different shade, um, but not enough for you to be able to tell at all. Um, both are a little bit dewy, um, both give you that kind of luminosity that you don't get from the colour stay and things that are a little bit more long wearing but definitely the Revlon will last me a full day coverage wise. I will get shiny and I need to top up my powder but um, like I say, little bits and pieces that were annoying me about the NARS were totally sold with the Revlon, it's a lot cheaper and if you like the NARS Sheer Glow I would definitely recommend that you give this a try. The only thing that I would think would be if you've got particularly dry skin and the NARS lasts all day on you um, and you've, that's the only thing that I could think maybe you wouldn't like it because my skin is a little bit oilier, I have my nibbles with the NARS whereas that might be your holy grail foundation and this being a little bit drier might not suit you um, but if you have got skin like me or oilier skin I definitely recommend that you try this because it is a great foundation from the drugstore and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, it was just a quick one like I say I wanted to mention purely because I'm so, so impressed with it, and I know I've mentioned it before, but I think it needed its own dedicated video. So, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!